Glory to God. Hallelujah. Good day again. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, praying that you are all well and uh, full of uh, joy and hope in Christ Jesus. Remember the mystery of God is Christ, not just Christ, but Christ in you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Christ in you, living inside human flesh. Christ, the anointed one living inside each believer. Hallelujah. So we'll proceed with our study of first uh, of uh, Colossians. We're now in chapter 2, verse 6. I touched a little bit of this last uh, Sunday. But here, we'll take off from verse number 6. And uh, let me first uh, do a short prayer. Father, thank you for giving us another wonderful time so we can uh, be admonished and be taught by your word with all wisdom that comes from the Holy Spirit. Salamat kay O Lord. Bless every word. Supply every word, O Lord. And through your word, build your church, build your people. Lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So in verse number 6, Paul was arguing gently and kindly, but very powerfully. By saying, so then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live in Him. You know, the beginning of your Christian life is when you receive Jesus. Of course, before you, before you receive Jesus, you first have to repent of all your sins. Acknowledge, you know, humbly, sincerely, that you are a sinner and that no matter how good you are, you will never enter the fold of glory without Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man and no one can come to the Father but through Him. So once you acknowledge that you are a sinner because you had a revelation of your sin, and then you acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior of your life because you have a revelation. You know, all of this is by revelation. We will never know how ugly our sin is until it is revealed to us by heaven. <laughs> Through our human thinking, you know, and logic, we will never acknowledge, we will never end up repenting, repenting of our sin. Nobody can repent of its own sin unless it is shown to him by heaven. And those who have repented, are now ready to receive Jesus and accept Him as Savior and Lord because also to them was revealed the beauty, the majesty, the splendor of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Once you see your sin through the eyes of God and once you see Jesus as presented by God to you in the power of the Holy Spirit, very easy also, to repent and to cry out for mercy. But it's not the end of your story, my dear brothers and sisters. As glorious as it is that Christ now resides in you, it's not the end. It's only the beginning. Amen. The beginning of your walk, the beginning of your journey as a follower of Jesus Christ, as a believer in the Savior and Lord of our life. And so Paul urges everyone here, just as you receive, Christ Jesus as Lord, continue, say the word continue, one more time, continue, continue means keep going, hallelujah, you have not yet re reached the end, that's why you are to continue, that's what it means, now if you have reached the end, then there's no need to continue, Paul was telling us a, a concept similar to this one because he was the one who wrote this so in the uh, philippians in philippians chapter uh, 3 <clears throat> verse 12 not that i have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect but i press on to take hold of that for which christ jesus took hold of me Next verse, brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. 
Uh, I press on toward the goal, win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So the whole idea is he will, he has, he has to continue. You know, he wants to continue. He presses on. Amen. Hallelujah. He did not feel that he has arrived. But he, but there's still more to be done. <coughs> so he has to continue. So let's return to Colossians 2, verse number 6. Continue in him. Uh, <coughs> Just as you receive Jesus Christ as Lord, continue to live in him. This is interesting because uh, in the previous verses, Jesus... Now, Paul was telling us that Christ now lives inside us. Christ in you. Hallelujah. Amen. That's, that's wonderful. That's powerful. But now he's telling us, you are to live in him. Eh? Continue to live in him. Meaning to say, it's not only that Christ is in us, but we are in Christ. <laughs> We as believers are in Christ, just as Christ is in us. Christ lives in us. We live our lives in Christ, through Christ, by Christ, and for Christ. Yan, manang Kristiano. Hmm. Dili lang si Kristo nagpuyo nato, buhi siya nga nagpuyo din ni kanato. Kung dili kita nagpuyo o nagkinabuhi, diya ka niya. Pinaagi ka niya. Para kaniya, o tungod niya niya. Amen. Si Kristo ang atong kalibutan. Christ is our world. Christ is our joy. Christ is our peace. He is our power. He is our wisdom. He is our knowledge. He is our understanding. He is our treasure. <laughs> he is our peace. I mean, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He is our contentment. He is our treasure. He is our wealth. Hallelujah. He is our wealth. Siyang atong bahandi. Ah, si Kristo. Kaya nga, gidawat na to siya. Magpadayon kita kaniya. Amen. Ni asya ka na to. Kita na ah, kaniya. No? Di ba? Pagkanindot kayo. Dalay ko ng ala ni Lord. So, continue to live in Him. Rooted. Say that word, rooted. Rooted in Him. Nigamot ka mo diha ka niya. Mugamot ka mo diha ka niya. Magpatidlum ang inyong gamot diha ka niya. You know? Pariya sa magtanom ka ba? <clears throat> you know, when you plant a seedling onto the ground, that's not the end of the story. In fact, that's just the beginning. Because that seedling will have to, you know, grow. And for it to grow, it will have to send its roots down deeper. No? And wider. No? Nasa truth, nasa, nasa gamot. No? Basically, it has two kinds of roots. Roots that goes down deeper to stabilize the tree. Make it strong and sturdy. No? But there are roots also that grow wider. No? Kung unsa ang length sa mga branches, no? na din ha po ang iyahang mga gamot to balance it. So it will not fall when, there are, when the winds would come. You know? Maganda na, when you do a fertilizing on your trees, like for example, durian, because you want to initiate uh, the durian uh, into fruitfulness. No? Ang tumoy sa iyang sanga, o nangyang sanga, diha ni mo sa tungod, di butang hangi mo ang fertilizer. Kasi diha sa tungod na, naapo diha ang, uh, naabot diha ang yang gamot. O na siyang principal. E di lima ayo, it's not good for a tree na dagko kay sanga, tagas og sanga, no? lampan na kayo ang naabot siyang sanga niya, mubo ang yang gamot. <laughs> the tree will not last long. Only if little wind, no? a breeze, can cause the tree to stumble and fall. Kaya nga, you rooted yourself in Jesus Christ. Gamit atong dua ka gamot, magpalalom, you know, in order to stabilize and strengthen 
your faith in Him, but also, mukhanap ka sa palibot because nasa ibabaw sa yuta ang kaba sa yuta. Wala sa ilalom. Ang purpose ng ilalom, stability na siya and strength. Pero kanang pagkaon ang mga gamot diri sa kilid. Mo na ang nagakaon. Katong mga gagmay, mga pino kayo na gamot. Mo na siya nagasuyop sa moisture and the moisture has in it mga, mga all the chemicals, all the, the nutrients that the, the tree needs for, for the tree to grow and eventually bear fruit. So you need to be rooted in Christ. Hallelujah. Duha ang gamot. Dapat naadiha kang Kristo. Para ikaw mo lig on, may mo kang healthy, pagabot sa tama nga panahon, you bear the fruit. Hallelujah. That the gardener or the owner or the farmer longs for. And so rooted in Him. Then the other word here, built up, built up in Him. Ah. Ang rooted, ang picture niya is uh, tanom, agricultural. Tanom siya. Ang built up, ang picture niya, building. Di ba? Sa rooted, ang result niya, pag root, tama ang gamot, mabunga. No? Fruitfulness. Say that word, fruitfulness. Sa building naman, pag makumplito ang building, ang picture niya, usefulness. Yan. So, duha. Kahulagway ang ginapakita ni Lord. Nga nung kinanglang ka mulalom o muligon ka gisto, aron ikaw mubunga, no? Kung tanong pa ang panig-ing na nimo, ikaw mubunga. Kung building ang panig-ing na nimo, ikaw may mong useful na building. Yan. No? Mapusla ng imong kinabuhi. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you say, can you turn, turn to your neighbor and tell him or her, gusto ko ang Gusto ko, I want my life to be fruitful and useful. Yan. I want to be my life fruitful in Christ and useful in Christ and for the glory of Jesus Christ. Amen? So, to see to it that no one takes... No. We finish first the verse. Rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith. Strengthened in the faith. Both of, the, both of these figures or metaphors, building and the tree, na kinanglan ng strength no ang kaoy need strength para mamunga no and the building needs strength for it to be useful okay. building that is shaky and wobbly wala may mupuyohan <laughs> wala mo sa agit sa may mukat kat kit sa may magpuyo balay nga naguyog oh di ba wala buyog oh hadlok ng puyo diya naog na di na balik no so strengthen in the faith no Strengthen in the faith because only the strong will last long. Only the strong will bear the fruit. Only the strong will be useful. Ano na siya? And functional. Ano, no? And attractive, of course. No? Strengthen in the faith as you were taught. You know, the apostles were teaching and that is the objective, the end result of their teaching that the people that they were teaching, you know, will become useful and fruitful. Yan. Mga ito on. Para na na, no? no? Ako, inga naman sa gula mo ko nag-tudlo-tudlo lang. Bili man. Nag-adamgo ta. Tingwa na to. Nag-tudlo ta. Para mga kristyano, muhamtong sila, may mo silang fruitful, may mo silang useful. Yan. Hallelujah. Wala yung tudlo-tudlo. For the sake lang nga makatudlo. For the sake lang nga aron makadawat o Kuan, offering, love gift, honorarium, para makapalit bugas. Hindi man na mo, no? dili man na mo yung idea, mga igsuon. No? Dili na mo yung motivation gani. Ay, ay, no, wala na taan na. Gibiyaan na 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 to. Nakasabot na ta. Now we do the ministry of the Lord in answer to His call on His life. Ano na siya? We do not preach to make money. No, we do not even preach to live. We live! to preach. We live, and because we live, you know, we do the work of God. We serve Him. We, we take delight in whatever He wants us to do. Amen. Now, money, pag wala'y kwarta, dili ko na siya problema yun. Sa tinood lang. Although there are other people na nagwali sila para pang kwarta nila tuyo. Even during the time of the apostles, Apostle Paul, nag-isgot siya na siya preach Christ about envy and strife. The others preach Christ, you know, out of 
false motivation. They want to make money out of you. Ano si Pablo. So, ang tunkaroon na pa man ang mga tauhana na pabili na matay itong ilang mga original pero ang espiritu, the spirit that was influencing all those people during the time of Paul still alive and he keeps on transferring to the other person and influencing them to become like that. But we are not like that. Mm -hmm. Humbly and sincerely, I'm not like that. By the grace of Jesus, I am not like that. <laughs> Maulaw ta kang ginoo ni Su Cristo, gipanapi nato siya. Maulaw ta na oy gigamit nato iyang alan aron ta mag mangwarta ka ulaw na oy. Pero ng uban wala na mabuhay ka ulaw, baga na kay naong nanugyan na sila sa kadautan. Mm, gipasog patungdahanan nila ang ilang pagkahakog, ang ilang pagka malimbungon. Ana gani. Nagtakuban sila nga mura mga Dios noon. Pero ngilngi kayo ang ilang motiv motivation sa kinabuhi. Pangwartahan nila ang mga katawahan. Pero manubag man na sila, maabot man ng panahon. Husayon ramani sa kaitasan ng tanan. <laughs> Taghang kayong mga surprises pag abot niya ng takna. Kaya padayon ng tanga, simple diha kang Iso Kristo, mga Iso. Uh, continue to live in Him, rooted in Him, built up in Him, Strengthen in the faith as you were taught. And then look at the last line. And overflowing. Say the word overflowing. Overflowing with thankfulness. Nga nung magmapasalamatun mga ginta. Kay si Kristo na ana sa tuwa. Nga kita po na na diya kang Kristo. Remember, siyang mystery sa Diyos. Siyang mysterio sa Diyos. Nga ngipapuyo din higa nato. Sabi. Salamat lang ito kalabuntag. Pag mata, Lord, salamat. Before matulog, naghang. Ay, salamat. Alaliso, salamat. Overflowing with thankfulness. Sabi ninyo, no? Sa una, hula pa tayo kay Lord. Overflowing ang atong baba sa bagulbol. No? Overflowing pangaway. Over, overflowing sangpitong ka ng dautan bitaw. Buliso lang ay yawa. Na, na, no? Papando lang ay piste. Na, overflowing. Karo wala na to. Kanina man so, Overflowing with thanksgiving. With thankfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ano gani? Kanindot ni mo gino. Pagka maayo gano'n ni mo gino. Bisan pag nanay mga daghang katalagman, mga problema, daga na kayo mga hagit sa kinabuhi. Our heart is overflowing with thankfulness. Why? Because Christ lives inside us. Amen. Amen. And... We are in Christ. Christ is in us and we are in Christ. We are rooted in Him, built up in Him, strengthened in our faith in Him. Hallelujah. And overflowing with thanksgiving. Now, we proceed to the next couple of verses here. No? Verse 7, uh, no, verse 8. Because in verse 8, he has a very important warning. See to it that no one takes you captive. Mm. See to it mean make it sure Make it sure That no one takes you captive Walay usa ka ninyo nga mabihag no? Mabihag Captive means nabihag ka no? Nalimbungan ka, nadani ka, nabihag ka, nailag ka no? See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow Hollow means empty like halo black, <laughs> halo head, ulo, dako, wala, sulod. Yan. Kasing-kasing na halo. Diba? Dangerous kaya ng kasing-kasing na walay, ano ba? True halo and deceptive philosophy. No? Hauang o malimbongon nga filosofiya or pangatarungan. Deceptive logic, deceptive reasoning. There are just so many people around us that are so good in twisting the truth of God so they can insert their own agenda and exploit the people around them. Daghang kayo na sila sa itong palibot. Dili raba ni mo dahil yung madetect. Mga deceptive di ay ang ilang mga presentations. It takes the wisdom of God. It takes discernment. From the Holy Spirit, when you look at them from a distance, labi na kung diharam mo sa TV, magsalig, ay kanindot kayo yun ang tananin nyo makita. 
na kay ang TV, mga kamera, dali ra kay na lisu-lisuon nga murag nindot dayo nang hulagway ba. Hmm. That is why to discover who is this one that's teaching and preaching God's word. Istorya ha, ato as balay, kuyugi siya sa iyang trabaho, ato as siya sa iyang mga ginakwan, asa na siya. Kinsay makauban niya, gagunsa siya, maging istorya dito. Observe him, sa diyang nagdula siya. Meaning to say, spend some time, because you will know sooner or later who is this person. You will know. Walay aso na makungkong, may suon. Ha? So Paul was warning them, no, so that they would become captive through hollow and hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition. Ah, nagsalig, nagdepende sa tradition lang sa tao and the basic principles of this world. Principles lagi pero you know kalibutan nun ng mga principles rather than on Christ. Yan si Kristo kay siya ang mystery of God. Christ in you, the hope of glory. You know? Anything, philosophy, value, logic, reason, whatever na mga butangan na pag diligikan kay Kristo, mga kaigsunan. Dili, wala'y tumong sa paghimaya kang Kristo. Wala, gituboy si Kristo. Gidemote hinoon si Jesus Kristo. Yan. Dili na insakto, mga ijon. Wala na, nagsumikad ka niya. Deception na siya, halo na siya. Hmm. Halo na siya. Amen? And then, sa isunod, For in Christ, all the fullness, this is very powerful verse here, Colossians 2 verse 9, For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity, of the deity, lives in bodily form. Kay diya ang Kristo, ang kahupnganan sa pagkadyus ng puyo sa lawas nun na purma. Makita, makita ang Diyos. Diha ang Kristo. Pinaagi ang Kristo. Pinaagi ang Kristo. We see the human form in bodily form, the physical form has been revealed, has been shown. No, ah. Because with God, mo ang ang Dios mangod, Dios Espiritu mangod siya. Pero nagpakatao siya para mahikap, makita, madunggan. Na ingon si Apostle Paul, ano? Nat Apostle Paul, Apostle John. No, in John. Now First John, First John chapter one, verse one. First John chapter one. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, siya nga sukad sa sinugdanan, which we have heard, nga among nadunggan, which we have seen with our eyes, nga among nakita, which we have looked at, nga among nasudong, and our hands have touched, o nahikap sa among amot, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. Mao ni ang among gi sangyao may tungod sa pulong sa Dios. Tanawan ni mang sequence no. Heard that which we we have heard, we have seen, nakita namo sa among mata which we have looked at, nasudong namo and seen is from a distance, look at is nasa duol ni mong gitutukan ug maayo. Nasa duol ni tan ojek ka. And then have touch our hands of touch. Wa nag yung kamatagbaw sa Dungog lang, tanaw lang sa layo, no? sudoong sa do, dool, wala ka natagbaw, ni hikap yun ka. Ni encounter ang tawag, ha? na encounter ni mo siya. Na kay physical, actual, nga pakighimamat sa Diyos, nga buhi, so that you move or you go away convinced and convicted in your life of the genuineness, of the reality, of the power of the living Savior. Dili lang na dungga ni mo. Nahikap yun ni mo. You ended up touching, having a physical contact with the Christ, the Son of the living God. And you're never the same again. Tawa ka na experience. Dili theology. Experience. Experience. 
Ubang it julujul ramang pirmi. Uh, pulos lang julujul wala experience. Kani experience ang siya mga igsuon. Ang tinoon nga kristyano, ang tinoon nga pagkakabig sa tao, experience na siya mga igsuon. Dili na mental ascent sa pagtuo. Pagtuo na nga natilawa na sinati ni mo. No, na siya mga igsuon. Uh, balik ta sa kolosas. Sa giingon ni Pablo, Christ in you, the fullness, for, for in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form and you have been given fullness in Christ. Wow! Hallelujah! Can you say wow? You have been given fullness in Christ. Gihatagan ka mong kahupnganan. Gihatagan ka mong complete completeness in Christ. Who is the head over every power and gihata. Mga Igsuon, thank you. Ingna si Lord. Lord, thank you. Gitagaan ni mo akong fullness. Diha ka ni mo. Completeness. Perfection. Perfection does not mean dili na makasala. But the word perfection means wala na ba'y idugang ba? Si Jesus, kompleto na siya diha sa imuha. Jesus is enough. Complete in Christ. Your life is now complete in Christ. Wala na'y angay dugang pa. Ano gani? Dili pa dugangan ni Mugani, dugangan pa ni Mugani, dugangan pag diploma, dugangan pag kwarta, dugangan pag... Christ is enough. You have been given fullness in Christ. Say the line with me. I have been given fullness in Christ. My life is full in Him. My life is complete in Him. Hallelujah. I will enjoy this life for the rest of my life here on earth. I can go here, there, and everywhere. Knowing that Christ lives in me and I live in Him. Amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ is the head of every power and authority. In Him you were also circumcised. This is not physical, this is spiritual in the putting off of the sinful nature, not with the circumcision done by the hands of men, but with the circumcision done by Christ. Verse 12, having been buried with them in baptism, raised with him through your faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. Now, before I will finally close, no? Ingon siya, you have been buried. Come on, no? Pag nga na ka kay Kristo, na lubong na ikaw uban kaniya diya sa bunyag mo na ayaw mo kalimot no kung katung nagi na gibunyagan mo no baptism no bunyag na mo gidi ba gito slob mo stubig no somebody no who represents the Lord no you dip you down under water that's a picture of death and burial yah paghawas ni mo you were raised with him through your faith in the power God paghawas ni mo sa tubig you were raised with him through your faith in the power of God. Kaya nga, ang tinod nga bunyag, ito slob yun na siya. Ito slob, pag lubong, kay namatay, pag hawas, pag kabanhaw, kung karoon na buhi na para kang Kristo. Galatians 2.20, si Pablo na giyon, I have been crucified with Christ, the very the less I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in Son of God, who loves me, and give himself up for me. Mga na siya, no? So, Bata siya, bas just in case, tood no, before ko mag-pray, bas ignain na minaw, taon-taon na ka, nag-subscribe, nag-tanaw ka, na minaw ka, nag-appeal na siguro ka, life group niya, wala pa ka ni abot sa pag-decide nga magpabunyag ba. Hadlok siguro ka, unsa ba, nabalaka ka, o wapag ay ka makasabot siguro, no, please consider, no, siguro mga tanaw mo, unsa may, unsa may ko na, si Jesus, simple lang ito ba gano'n, Si Jesus mismo nagpabunyag kay John the Baptist. So, now naaragod na. Kanya, <laughs> ikaw, halo, halo, mutawag ang kristyano, wala ka nabunyag. Kanya, eh. nabunyagan mo ko sa gamay pako. Dilito ang tubunyag. Oo. Pwede ito taong dedication or presentation. Kanto siya nga moment. Decision to sa ginikana ni mo. Wala pa makaibota to. Uh, muna, mga gagmayang bata, ginahalad na sila. No, dedication, ginahalad, ginahoffer sila nahalad nga to kay Lord. Ang ginikanan ang nag-decide na. Kanang bunyag sa tubig, no? ikaw ang nag-decide na. Daku na ka, nakasabot na ka. Oo. Kay hulagway na, pag 
kulagway man na sa kamatayo ni mo sa daan nga kinabuhi ba? Wala na ka. Dan, you're done with the old life. Kaya repent na ka. Sala ni mo, bisyo, kinabuhi ni mo, ego, tistik ni mo, tendencies, pride ni mo. Iyan man na nagibiyaan sa likway ni mo. Patay na na ni mo. And then, pag hawas ni mo, magigikan sa tubig, i-announce ni mo, this is my new life in Christ Jesus. I live for Him. I'll be rooted in Him and grounded and built up in Him. I will serve Him. I will be fruitful and I will be useful. Mana na siya. Na? Amen? Kung wala pa, hindi mo ang si leader. Hindi mo ang light for leader ko. Ya, ate. Magpamunyag na po. Sundo na ako ang example ni Jesus. Ah, siya, ha? Anto mo sa dagat o anto mo sa tubig na lalong-lalong para mahita po. Magam po ko. Dagang kayo, salamat to Lord sa imong pagamayo. Karong, karong taknaa. Salamat sa imong pulong, O Lord. Gitinguhan ni mo nga kami. O Lord, mapundar gayo diha ang Kristo. No? Magpadayon kami sa among pagkinabuhi diha kaniya. Mugamot kami gino. Mulalo mga mong gamot. Mulapad. Mudaghan. Musana yung among gamot. Para sa among paglipang. Para sa among paglambo. O para sa among pagbunga. Ang pilang among pagligon. Sama kami sa mga gambalay. Mga building. Nga mahimong useful. O Lord God. Sa diyang maligon kami, maging useful kami. Makumplito kami, maging useful kami. Puno ang amo kasing kasing og thankfulness. Every moment, every day. San asa, mi muliso, asa, mi muadto. Unsay mga pangitabo sa mga tubangan, sa mga inabuhi. Magpapasalamat og gihapong kami. Salamat kay dear Lord. And thank you, oh God, nga si Kristo, nga niya ang amo. May ngon nga kami na kanya. That is enough, oh Lord. We have the fullness in Christ. Salamat kayo, Lord. Holy Spirit, thank you. Oh, flow through us. Overflow through us. Touch the broken world. This broken world, oh Lord, through us. In your power. For the name of Jesus. For the glory of the name of Jesus. Salamat kayo, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen.